All right, welcome back to Ballroom Feed. We have another Technique Tuesday, and this one is what is the difference between the hammerlock and the cradle or the cuddle? Let's get right in. All right, so these types of positions, the pretzel-like positions with the double hands, is gonna be found in salsa, bachata, uh, even swing, hustle, there's a whole bunch more I'm sure I'm missing, merengue. But we're gonna tell you the difference because a lot of times people get confused between the two and how you kind of lead each of them. So we'll demonstrate them first. So our first, our cradle or cuddle is gonna be this position. We can exit, it's the opposite way we came in. And then our hammer lock is kind of the natural opposite, but we do have a little bit of a different spin on that side. And then we get out. So basically the cradle is when he's gonna lift his left hand across himself and bring me to the right side of his body. And you can see we're side by side, shoulder to shoulder, and then we exit kind of the natural opposite, okay? So our hammer lock is when she does a right turn now, he's lifting his left hand up still, but leading me out instead of across. And then I'm gonna turn all the way around with my hand behind my back. And he actually turns his body slightly so his shoulder are kind of like opposite now, whereas the other one we were side by side, okay? Yeah, the most obvious way to think about it for me, whether it's hustle or swing or whatever else, I'm leading, so let's go for the cradle first. I'm leading a left turn and then a right turn. So inside turn, left turn, inside turn first, right turn, inside, outside turn afterwards. The hammer lock is the exact opposite, where now I'm doing a right turn or an outside turn first, and a left or inside turn second. So just the flip-flop, that's why the two positions are so similar, is because they're completely the opposite of the other. The side of my body, the side of the head I put her hand on, and um, what plays a big part in making this really obvious is actually the shaping of my body each time. So in general, I'm always trying to guide her or show her the direction I want her to move in, right? Because she's very visual. It's not just about the hands itself. Because if I just move the hands itself, it actually looks kind of awkward and very displaced. So if I want her to come inside and do a cradle, I actually start to rotate myself slightly the direction I want her to go in to kind of like shape her into the rotation. Leading the exit isn't necessarily the same because I don't want to push her over, right? If I lead the hammer lock first, I start to rotate myself and open up my shoulders slightly in the direction I want her to go in. And then obviously to unwind the hammer lock, I go back out to the normal position. So even if we're like, let's say hustle in this example, I'm shaping my shoulders slightly in the direction I want her to go in at the entrance. First time it's to the left and this, is time, this time it's to the right. So my shoulders open up a little bit first to kind of help the initiation of the lead instead of being too handsy, for lack of a better word. Okay, so hopefully that clarified some differences between the two positions if you're struggling, and go practice your cradles and hammerlocks, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.